was getting ready for my first day of work when my dad told me to wear a shorter skirt. And tension blues as well. Wear this one. It was too revealing for me. Anyway, dad knew my employer better than I did. And he turned out to be right. As soon as I took my raincoat off, my boss was very pleased. Mr. Luster was the coolest fashion photographer around and offered me a job as his assistant after seeing my work. I was doing my best not to disappoint him. But I had no idea how to properly set up the light. Which he believed to be the most important skill to have. Light can make the same model look like an angel or a demon. Mr. Loster told me to stay after work. He brought in a huge mirror and told me to sit on the couch. My boss was rearranging the devices so I could see how the image's meaning changed in the mirror. Now relax. Would you like me to massage your shoulders? That was a strange offer. Prior to that, he said that the light decided everything. I asked to go to the bathroom and called my dad. I told him everything and asked him what I should do. But my streak dad's voice remains calm. Mr. Loster is a professional. I trust him. I relaxed a little. I walked out of the bathroom and the master class continued. Mr. Loster explained things in a quite interesting way. And I seemed to understand them. All of a sudden, he took off his jacket and rolled up his sleeves. Now I'm a model. And you need to set up the light and photograph me. I tried my best, and some of the shots actually turned out great. Mr. Loster was pleased. Then, maybe in an effort to encourage me, he tried to hug me. I stopped him and made it clear that it wasn't necessary. It was a very awkward situation. But I thanked him and hastily left the studio. In the hallway, I reached for my phone to call my dad, as I wanted to ask him to pick me up. However, Mr. Loster suddenly grabbed my phone. I don't think you're getting the picture. Your old man will be happy if you show me some gratitude. His business will die without me. My boss's words got me thinking. My father owns a small framing workshop and his business only stayed afloat because of Mr. Luster. Was my dad using me to pay for customer loyalty? My boss demanded me to obey him. Do you want to be in fashion or go back to daddy's dusty workshop? I didn't even have time to answer. He squeezed me tightly, and I couldn't move. At that moment, someone kicked the door open. It was my dad. Luster, he lasted even less than I thought. Dad hit Mr. Luster with a light stand. And he fell to the floor, spewing threats. I'm going to call all my colleagues. No one will even hire your daughter as a cleaning lady. Dad didn't say anything. He just led me to the car. And we went home. I asked my dad what he meant when he said you lasted less than I thought. As it turned out, my father never trusted Mr. Loster. 
He's selfish. I was surprised when he offered to hire you, but I gave him a chance. My father didn't share his concerns with me, so I wouldn't question my talent. Dad also explained why he told me to wear a shorter skirt. I needed to know what he really wanted. An assistant or a young mistress. And he failed that test. I felt awkward because of it all. Dad's workshop lost its biggest source of income. But he didn't make a big deal out of it. I wouldn't become rich anyway. And your trust is worth more than millions of dollars. After that, Mr. Luster was no longer one of Dad's customers and went broke. I did my best to show what he really did to women and the ones genius got cancelled. Plus, I quickly found a good job. I surrounded myself with people who appreciated me as a photographer. And I was able to revive my father's business by becoming his main customer. It was a small thank you for all he had done for me. A father holds his daughter's hand for a short while, but holds her heart forever.